Welcome to Distance Time Graphs. It's an odd little standard that the state of Ohio has given us, but we are going to use this gizmo to make the best of it. All right, the first thing we're going to do is just give you a little bit of a walkthrough for um, how to do these warm up activities. So, uh, when you first load the gizmo, everything, you're just going to leave it all alone. There's all kinds of things to play with, that's for later. For now, we're going to use the settings that are given to us when we first open it. So the graph should look like uh, the one on the right, one point at zero, zero, and the other point at 440. And sure enough, here our first point is at zero, zero, and here is our second point at four seconds and 40 yards, so 440. This graph here is going to show you what this runner is doing, and then we can actually kind of go the other way as well, but that's for later. All right. So the first question here, um, click the green start button on the stopwatch. What happens? So here is the green start button. When we click that, we can see the green bar on the graph moving and we can see the runner moving forward. So when we uh, answer this question, what happens? Uh, make sure that you mention what the green bar is doing and make sure that you mention what the runner is doing. The runner is just moving forward for, uh, for four seconds. Okay. All right. Uh, here, click the red reset button on the stopwatch. So we go back, we click reset. Lovely. All right. The green, uh, no, the vertical green probe on the graph allows you to see a snapshot of the runner at any point in time. Drag it back and forth. As you do, watch the runner and the stopwatch. So with the um, event uh, paused, we can drag this. And as we you can see, at 1.998 seconds, the runner is about at the 20, or 20 yard line. At two seconds, he's at the 20 yard line. At the three second mark, he's at the 30 yard line. So this uh, green gr bar, what you're looking at is the intersection of the green and red bar. Um, that is going to give you an idea of what is happening at that exact point in time in graph. Um, it tells you where the runner is at any point in time on this graph. All right, so at 3.46 seconds, we can look at this intersection of the red and green line. Looks like they are at 32, 34, a little bit uh, less than the 35 yard line. All right, okay, so let's go down and answer the here. What is the position of the runner at one second? So we are going to drag the green bar to one second, and we can see the intersection of the red and green line. The runner is going to be at the 10 yard line. And if you look, you have to be careful because these lines are slanted. The runner, his toe is touching the 10 yard line. So where's the runner at one second? the runner is at the 10 yard line. So all you have to do is make sure that you type in a label, 10 yards. Then what are the coordinates of the point at the graph that tells you this? Well, the coordinates look like right here. And even doing coordinate graphing and math, I know that. So this should be very, very familiar to you. Um, the x-axis goes first, the y-axis goes second. The x-axis is time, and the y-axis is going to be uh, our distance. So at one second, they're at the 10-yard line. So in coordinate form, we write at one second, they are at 10 yards. And if you write it like that, you'll be fine. Then you can answer these two questions. When... Okay, be careful of uh, what they're asking for. When was the runner at the 30 yard line? So the 30 yard line is right here. If we drag the green bar so that the red and green are crossing, um, here is when the runner is at uh, the 30 yard line. And we can see that uh, both on the stopwatch and on our graph, this is at the three second point in time. So when was the runner? Make sure that you type in a label. And then finally, what are the coordinates of that? Well, just like you did one second, 10 yards as one comma 10 in parentheses, you're going to do the same thing here for three seconds and 30 yards in coordinate form 
there. Uh, that will get you through this activity and uh, your next walkthrough will be for the beginning of activity A.